Hi and welcome my friend to another travel vlog um, video that I will tell you about. Today we will be in Leipzig and I visited my friend Marie there. We know each other for the last I guess five years and it felt like home. I really needed distraction from Budapest and my life in Budapest so Leipzig was wonderful and for me it was a very interesting experience because German is my second native language and I really wanted to see Germany in other eyes a little bit different and I felt like home in some point because I grew up in this culture although I grew up in another part of Germany so welcome to the tour and you will see so many beautiful and discover things yay <laughs> First day I was in Leipzig and of course we had a walk. <laughs> Maria. Maria is searching for together with Sonia Katara searching for on the next one. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of history about Leipzig. Leipzig was built one in 1015 and it's a, one of the biggest cities and cultural cities of Germany. It's in the east of Germany, it's like two hours away from Berlin and a lot of people say it's the new Berlin because like you have bars, you have clubs and things like that. So it's a big city, it's about 650 people people living in Leipzig it's they have a big university and my friend Marie is studying there and you can see a lot of very cool buildings everywhere or art pieces or something like that mm. So Leipzig has a lot of beautiful churches and we visit a lot of them because like we had tour guides in St. Petersburg with Marie. So and you can see and listen that when we went in one of the oldest ones, the organ was playing. It was like it plays once a week. It was so beautiful inside. It was like this music. We had a very like good experience and beautiful and I love organ music in churches. Listen to it a little bit more. Yeah, we walked around the city, it was very beautiful, it was my first impression, you could see it, and then we needed to prepare ourselves for a party. Yeah, and then we met with Marie's flatmate and went to the party. The party was very good because it was not in the center of Leipzig, it was in Kunstkraftwerk. On every wall in the on the party there were like live paintings, they were very different, like video art. And I really liked that because you could have a moment with it, like with art and music. So, here you are. Bye-bye. <laughs> The music was good, it was a little bit light for a techno party, but actually I liked it in some point. The people were a little bit questionable because there were a lot of people above 40 just like hanging out in like evening dresses. It was not that cool, but there were some cool modern like young people. So we had a lot of fun and we stayed there until like 3 a.m. And 
yeah, we dance it out and I would say we rock the dance floor there. And yeah, after the party, we went home and then was the next day. And the next day was Sunday and we had a very lovely Sunday with Marie and her flatmate. We made coffee, I made pancakes for us for the breakfast and we had like a very communal breakfast together. I think it's very nice. I don't have them often. So and Marie wanted to film me. She wanted to help me. It was so nice from her. <laughs> Love you. And now that you're watching. And um, yeah, we had this breakfast very slowly like for one and a half hours we talked about a lot of things because i didn't saw marie a long time and we are these friends like who meet once a half year and talk about everything so it was very nice i liked the apartment like everything was so good and i felt really at home i think it's marie it's germany everything in combine i never was on the east side of germany so it was my first time and i really liked that leipzig is so beautiful and colorful with with a lot of cool young people that moved there actually from Berlin, from all over Germany to study, to do something. And then we went to explore the city more because the city is not that like small. It's another church. I think they're very beautiful because I like this style of churches. So I like that Leipzig has something in between cultural, very like, art history and at the same time everything else like very modern a lot of uh, graffiti a lot of design for example that this is the university and there was a church it was constructed and they just took the part that they had and like made it in the university of course it was sunday almost nothing was working we went to the like railway station to have coffee in starbucks and yeah Maria. Yeah, it's... Where are we? Well, I mean, uh, we are in Leipzig right now. Leipzig <laughs> is uh, kind of. Um, how do we call this? Cultural city, you know? <laughs> On Dampalitz. So it was a very cozy Sunday. We walked a little bit, we eat, we had coffee. Like, yeah. And that's the railway station. Uh, we had food to eat and then we saw this bookshelf on the street and we like, oh my God, what's this? What's this? We wanted everything from there. And at the same time, we had like our food. I took like three books or something or four because they were very interesting. I wanted so much books in German, like you cannot imagine. So then was Monday. Marie had a lot of things to do. And yeah, after I worked, of course, like holidays, who need them? Um, I walked around the city alone. What I found it very good. And in the whole winter, I didn't see a lot of snow because Budapest is very warm. It was like past six the whole winter. And then in Leipzig, it started snowing for no reason because it was like end of February, like beginning of March. Marusia. It's me and the snow. <laughs> Because I immigrated to Europe, a lot of times you don't feel safe or like at home because you speak your second or third language. And in Germany, I speak my second native language. It was so wonderful. I didn't experience it for a long, long time, although I work in German. So I went every day out to see something else. And I found some stores that Marie didn't see, but she lives there like one and a half years almost. So like... I found them small shops, very nice cafes. I really like it as a city where you can go and like explore something cultural. And for example, there is a graffiti. It was made in 1997 or something. And they put it under glass that nothing happened to this graffiti. And yeah, we needed to photograph ourselves. But like, I like it. It's very different from the graffiti that is now and I'm a fan of graffiti culture so I think that's so cool because like in a lot of cities you couldn't do it it was actually 
cold when he came there, like snow and things like that. But we had a lot of fun because it was sunny. We missed each other with Marie and we have a lot of fun when we are together. So yeah, we listened to music. We walked around the city when we had time together or I just try to figure out how the city works and how I feel in the German environment as my saying in native language where I didn't live for a long time. And Germany, I think, is very positive for me, especially, like, it's beautiful, you can have a lot of things to do, and I don't know, a lot of people said that I look like I belong there, I look like I am from Germany, and German speak a lot of German speakers told me that they don't believe that I am not from Germany. And then the next day we decided to go to the museum. It was a free day, so like free entrance. And we were on a very good, cool exhibition of her parents are from Odessa. That's like now Ukraine, like from the post-Soviet Union. She was born in Leipzig, but she considered herself as a Mexican artist. And she is considered in the art world as a Mexican artist. And I really liked how she expressed her feelings in art. really check her out a lot of people were there and we lost that these two old women that's me and marie in like 50 years because it's true we will go to the museums and we had a lot of like history about being in the museums and talking about art we love it both very much in very different different perspectives so yeah and the museum was very big and very good it's the like only one big museum in Leipzig but it was very fun a lot of things were there a lot of old people very fashionable in their own style I thought it is so cool and like yeah so please visit it if you're in Leipzig I read a German book recently where it said that for some people going to a museum if you're exploring a new city is like a must and I am from these people so I need to go to a museum if I visit a new city and I really like the modern art section but I but actually Leipzig has a very good collection so check it out <laughs> She was a Kunstwerk. Please tell your friends more how you love them and how beautiful they are. It's very important. But I think St. Petersburg is so full of artists. Also, it could be electric. <laughs> 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 On the previous slides, there were Italian guy painting Marie in a bar, and I found it so cool and like cultural and like I didn't expect this to happen for me in Leipzig, but yeah. The next day we went on a girls' trip to Dresden. It was really fun because like uh, we talked a lot, we laughed a lot, and I never went to Dresden, and I know it's a very beautiful city with a lot of architecture and I studied in university so like check it out I really want to go back because we didn't have enough time because we had some things to do there but it's only two like one hour away one and a half hour away I guess like less than two hours away from Leipzig so yeah 
So, I decided to give you a little bit of historical information about the cities I will went to or like I went to before. So, Dresden was built in 1206, so like 100 years after Leipzig was built. It's um, not that big of a city as Leipzig is. It's like 500, 550,000 people. And you can feel that it's a smaller city. There's universities too, a lot of people study in Dresden. But it's a very different city from Leipzig, I would say, because the people look very different. Uh, the architecture looks a little bit different too, I, I would say. But it's worth um, visiting, so please visit if you want to visit some German cities. So we had a really, really girls trip. Like we had a lot of fun. It was very cold and it was the day where nothing was working. Like buses, trams were not working in this land, like not in Leipzig, not in Dresden. But actually it was a interesting vibe because I never went somewhere where strikes is. Like Budapest doesn't have it. In Russia, I didn't see it too. So we visit, of course, some churches. I think they're so beautiful and very different like in every small city in germany you can visit a church and it will be the one and only experience of it and i hope you enjoy our trip actually um the most famous one is the frauenkirche that's the uh, her we didn't get in because they closed a little bit early and they had a protest on this square so like we were like okay next time it's not the time to visit it but i really want next time to visit it's very beautiful the square is very german architecture i would say but i really liked it so yeah and we photographed each other i don't know it was really fun and like please go with your friends on different trips it's very important and I like that the people surrounding me in Germany were very helpful. They wanted to film me. They wanted to help me with my YouTube channel, although I could know them for some days. So you can see me in Dresden in pink. What are you doing? Dresden, in Dresden. We are in Dresden. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The weather was not a blessing though, but I think these trips when you go with friends or people, you're very good like vibe. It's not about the city, it's about you having fun in another city. Just you for that's all. <laughs> I really like Dresden. Actually, we were not that much there, but I think it's for the first time it was enough. It's a very beautiful city. I think you can go for a weekend there and you will see most of Dresden because we were only on one side of the river. We didn't um, enter any museums and there was a lot of museums and they're very important for like cultural and art history. So yeah, uh, we went to the river to see what's there and it was so beautiful i don't know like you can see it i guess and my girls were also beautiful though mm -hmm. you agree this is alexandra my new friend and there's another so two beautiful mädchen the girlies <laughs> I really feel that this vlog is very different so please comment and say what you think you can DM me I don't care like please give me feedback how you feel how you like to listen to some places where I just been and like the noise of life you know so please tell me because I think I experienced so much things that I wanted to show you guys and like show in my YouTube channel how I felt, how I wanted to feel, um, how it was sometimes difficult. So I want to know what you're thinking and if you like this kind of vlogs or yeah, please give me that feedback. I need it so much. And back to Dresden and we went to a church and... Can 
and you can see this beautiful beautiful buildings that's churches universities uh, art museums for example Zwinger is one of the like famous German art museums that is in Dresden so you should totally visit it I want to visit it so much I hope I will do it in the summer the sunset started the sun was going down and the lights came up and it became more beautiful that you could imagine i think sometimes it's very sad that we cannot picture a lot of things that we picture with our eyes every day about the beauty of people about architecture about our view on the world and how we see a lot of different things i try to picture all the beauty that i saw in germany i know actually that a lot of people don't like dresden i can i kind of get why but like as a visitor as a tourist it's very beautiful and that's the swinger that i was talking about Зинаида. Если вы понимали, что это такое, но мы не понимаем, что это такое. And that was the end of our trip to Dresden and we're back in Leipzig. That was a week I was in Leipzig and I was one and a half weeks. Some days were not that busy actually. I went to a flea market to see what people are buying and selling and like it was very nice i liked it but it was rainy so it was not like the best and i met with some people outside of marie's friends what i liked actually i went to some cool bars and then i went to one of the like modern techno clubs and i was at cool bars here's some sounds <laughs> You could not film in the club because it's forbidden, but here is some music from there. And that actually was my last day in Leipzig. It was a Tuesday and then I went to Frankfurt. It will be my next vlog. We got ready with Marie. We like I like this makeup so much. Like and Marie has it's so beautiful. Oh my god. And we walked in the city, we were a little bit shopping. It was actually cold in Leipzig because it was snowing some parts of the day and then the end of the day we needed to go to the drawing course of Alexandra or Sasha that we saw before so and it was so nice I'm actually I would love to go to a drawing course in Budapest but I think it's not the, it will be not the same 
это снэл. Что вы думаете об этом дне? Опять зима. Самой холодной зимой я узнал, что внутри меня непобедимое лето. Мы идем на Сайшнин. Так мы это Маша, это Саша записываем. А, Саня, мы идем. Просто зима началась, мы не ожидали. Еще мы потратили деньги в Праймаркте. Да. The drink was were very cozy. A lot of people came and um there was some music. The first hour we were just painting flowers and, and vases and things like that and the second hour we painted someone who was sitting in the middle like portraits and I got painted by a lot of people. It was very nice and everybody was painting so different. And after that we went to a bar. It was not long. But very nice because people are very different. And when I needed to go to the railway station, it was like that. It was like literally winter and I was missing the whole time. So, yeah. And then I went to my next destination, what will be Frankfurt. And see you on the next vlog. Thank you for watching. <laughs> no, that's for my YouTube channel. Ah, yeah. Follow, um, subscribe to Sonia. Her art. I got two two pieces actually of her art, and it's really class now, especially if you're in Russia or like this uh, border region, right? Right, Maria? Right. Yeah. So make sure she gets this button that shows that she also subscribes. You know. I mean, you are right. Yeah. Yeah. So do it. <laughs>